OK, uh, so here let's talk about the syllabus first. So let's click the PDF. Uh, so first, my office, uh, virtual office. So I will host my uh, office hour online uh, at WebEx. Uh, so if you, you have to install WebEx first, and you can find out the WebEx introduction video uh, on week one module. So if once you install WebEx, you can just click this URL. Uh, and then that will start WebEx. And then we can talk um, to each other. So in case you have any questions that cannot be answered on Slack, uh, we can use that. Uh, you can come to my uh, virtual office. So the time is uh, starting from next week, uh, not next, uh, starting from um, August 24th, uh, so from Monday to Friday, uh, 3 to 8 p.m. OK, so that's uh, the office hours. Um, I'm going to leave the others, let you to read. Um, so we're going to use this textbook. Uh, so we have been, we have used this one um, before. So it is free online, so you can click this URL and you will be able to see the textbook. Uh, so if you are using JME Wi-Fi, you should be able to access this textbook. Uh, if you are using other Wi-Fi, you, you may need to go to the JMU library and see how you, and uh, you can either talk with the staff there and also check how you can access that ebook. Uh, right now I'm using my, uh, I'm working from home, so I don't have any problems uh, checking this uh, uh, textbook. So I just follow the uh, instruction on the JMU library. OK, uh, again, so make sure that you subscribe the announcement on Canvas and also make sure you check Slack. Um, uh, so I, I will send out uh, the course announcement on Canvas and also uh, on Slack. Uh, so here is this is my GitHub uh, profile. So you can find out some useful web uh, Python code that we are going to use in this class. Um, and this is my tutorial on YouTube, so where you can find out some related uh, tutorials about the data mining and also databases. Uh, so you're welcome to subscribe my YouTube channel. Um, uh, you can still use OneDrive even you're working from home or even uh, we don't meet in class. So uh, you can store your data on OneDrive. That's that's a that's a great place that where you can maintain your data and save your data. Uh, so if you have questions about lab, quizzes, lectures, please ask questions on Slack first. So I will try to answer questions in Slack. So Slack will be our number one uh, communication tool. And if that cannot resolve your questions, uh, we can meet in our virtual office on WebEx. However, if you have some private issues like your grades, health issues, etc., um, please send me email. OK. Um, so there will be four components uh, for this class. So online participants, that's mainly about the participants on Slack. Uh, online lectures, so I will post several videos on uh, Canvas, and you have to watch those videos. Uh, we also have a final project, and we also have some weekly lab exercises. Uh, so you have to make sure that you finish all those assignment online participants. So I will uh, post some assignment that so you have to do something on Slack to get those points. So make sure that we are all connected. Uh, you, you also have need to watch those online lectures. And those videos also have some embedded questions. And you have to answer those questions. And those questions are very, very simple. And also you can try it multiple times. But you have to answer those questions and uh, answer all the questions, and then you can continue. And there are also lab exercises. Uh, there are also weekly labs so that you have finished those labs and also submit your reports on Canvas. Uh, so all those assignments, um, participants, lectures, and also labs have a deadline. 
So make sure that you don't miss the deadline. Uh, at the end of this semester, uh, we will all have a final project so that you will be uh, working on the project that you are, you are interested in. And you will spend two weeks and to finish that project. And we'll talk more about the final project later this semester. If you submit your lab or your assignments later, you will receive a penalty. So you will receive 5% uh, per week, but no more than 40% in total. And remember that no late submissions will be accepted in the final exam week. Um, you can resubmit any times you like of your labs or the assignment before the deadline. However, if you submit it after the deadline, then you will receive the late penalty. And you can you have one chance to resubmit your one lab or, or assignment after the deadline. Uh, if your grade is lower than 70, if your previous submission the grade is lower than 70, and remember that you have only one chance. Um, and also that is also subject to late penalty. Okay. Uh, the late submission for the final project will not be accepted. So that uh, keep in mind that when you're working on your final project, make sure you submit everything on time. Um, and let's go through the schedule uh, very quick. So the first week, uh, just get familiar with this class and also download uh, the software and also get familiar with AWS Educator um, um, and also if and also get familiar with Slack. So if you have any questions, please feel free to talk with me on Slack or send me email or come to my virtual office. Uh, and then we'll spend four weeks that talking about the relational database. So how to create tables. Um, how to design relational database. And we'll briefly cover a little bit about SQL. So that is very important. And then we'll see how we can use SQL in Python. Um, and you should read this chapter during those four weeks. Uh, so that is uh, uh, the readings from those four weeks. It's just one chapter. Um, it's very short. Um, and then in the following four weeks, we are talking about the a little bit about data mining from web pages. So we are talking about HTML and also we are trying that how we can extract data from web pages. Um, and then we are talk briefly introduce like the some cloud databases. So those latest technologies like data warehouse and the data lake. And then we all introduce uh, QuickSight so that how we can analyze data from data warehouse by using QuickSight. So in addition to SQL uh, or Python, so we can use some BI tools um, like QuickSight. Uh, next semester, we'll talk about Tableau so that how to analyze data. And then we'll spend another four weeks. We'll talk about another type of database, which is non-relational database or non-SQL database. So that is now very, very popular nowadays. Uh, specifically, we'll talk about MongoDB. And we'll see that how we can use Python to uh, collect data from social media, from Twitter, and uh, save the data into MongoDB. And we'll see how we can query data in MongoDB and how we can analyze data by using some BI tools that are supported in MongoDB. Uh, week 14, we don't have any class and we don't have office hours. So that's thanks uh, giving break. And then we have two weeks that you will be working on your final project. So uh, I'll, I will give you a topic and then you will start collecting data, analyzing data, and also finish your report. And week 17 will be our final exam week. Um, I don't think we have a real exam. So instead, you are going to present uh, your final project um, to other folks. Uh, so we'll talk about more details later this semester. Okay.